So the purpose of this video is to give you some follow-up information after your recent arthroscopy surgery. The most important part is that you recover from the surgery. So in the first 48 hours, elevating your leg is the most important thing to do. Try to have your knee above the level of your heart, so that's you laying down on your back and your leg up on two or three pillows. You should spend most of the day in this sort of position, get up, go to the toilet, uh, get something to eat and then go back and lie down and put your leg up. When you come out of surgery, you'll be in a bandage which goes from about here to here. Um, that's there under a little bit of compression to try and help settle the swelling down as well. You leave that bandage on for about three or four days and when it comes off, definitely you can use the blue knee sleeve which you'll be supplied with and also you can start the use of ice. Ice won't really penetrate through that white bandage so while that's intact, there's not much point icing through the bandage. When you use ice, the ice on your knee should be on for about 20 minutes and you should do that following exercise or following walking and every two or three hours is probably a good guide. The exercise component of your rehabilitation starts the first day after your surgery. It's very important to get your quadriceps muscles going and to get a bit of gentle movement in your knee. There's four or five exercises that are on your exercise sheet and I'm going to demonstrate them for you now. So first you start lying on your back or sitting up and if you're assuming it was your left knee, the first exercise is a static contraction where you're statically contracting your quadriceps, trying to push your knee downwards into the bed and hold for 5 to 10 seconds. The second exercise is going to be similar where you're going to do the same static contraction and then add a leg lift where you're lifting your leg up off the bed, holding for 5 to 10 seconds and slowly going back down. In the third exercise, you can use a pillow or rolled up towel underneath your thigh for support and then you're going to do the same exercise where you're statically using your quadriceps, lifting up your leg and then holding for 5 to 10 seconds. These three exercises are the strength part of your program and are very important to get you off to a good start getting your muscles back into condition. The other two exercises that are on your sheet are gentle heel slides and while particularly in the first three or four days while you have that bandage on very gently sliding your leg up and down on the bed just to get a little bit of movement in your knee. Don't force it through pain. None of the exercises should be incredibly painful and it's a nice, easy, gentle slide. After you do three or four days, you'll have the bandage off and sitting on the edge of the bed, you will be able to do a very similar exercise where you're straightening right up, bending right down. You don't have to hold this for any length of time, but three or four seconds is probably a good guide to get it bending and moving uh, as quickly as possible. Um, most people who have an arthroscopy um, will be able to walk on their legs straight away and you'll know this with your post-operative uh, visit from your physio. If you are a full weight bearing and have just done some trimming inside your knee, trying to walk without a lift is really important. The sooner you can trust your leg and get back to a normal walking pattern, the better your muscles will recover. If, however, you do have a microfracture to the weight-bearing surface of your knee or you do have some stitching into the meniscus, you'll be on crutches for six weeks and you'll be advised of that at the time of your surgery and making sure you're safe before you go home on your crutches. Uh, that's the, probably the most important things. The other questions that people have is when can they return to work and when can they return to driving. Uh, driving a car, really by the time you can walk, Normally, three or four days, you should be able to drive a car as well. And returning to work, if you're in a sedentary job, I would allow that three or four days. If you're in a more physical job, it may be as long as two weeks or even four weeks, depending on the nature of your job. And you can discuss that further with uh, your surgeon or your physio that you're seeing at the time of your surgery. Hopefully, this video has been a little bit helpful in just refreshing exactly what we went through on the day of your operation. And if you've got any other questions, please ring your doctor or ask your physio um, and get in contact with us as soon as possible. Thanks.